Hello again everyone. Back again with another part in our set of uh, exothermic reaction uh, fire videos. Uh, in this one here we're going to be covering again with potassium permanganate um, as well as this time around we're going to be using radiator coolant. All right, radiator coolant has glycerin in it and uh, as many of you know glycerin and potassium permanganate um, they are exothermic reaction because of the glycerin. Uh, so anyways Let's get on with this. I'm going to show you real quick. So let's get us a little bit of potassium permanganate out. Pour a little bit out here. Do a little more there. Good bit there. All right. Now what I've done here is to just kind of simulate uh, you know if you had to if you had for some reason had a chance to have potassium permanganate with you um, you can take the take a rag and just dip it down into your radiator and pull the stuff out so here we go just gonna take a few drips okay There we go. Alright, so what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Have your tinder ready. <laughs> Always. Anyhow, potassium permanganate and radiator coolant. Doesn't matter which radiator coolant you use, 50 50 or pure. Obviously, the straight pure stuff will be probably a little bit better because it's going to have more glycerin in it. It's not going to be uh, as diluted. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's still this thing's still burning. So, you know, have your tinder ready. It's hot. Alright, anyways, I hope you like. Thank you.